guys, do you know what's common between a mother and a flower? Yes, they are both beautiful, but the other common factor is that they both reproduce babies. Well, flowers don't make flower babies, but they make fruits. Let's see how this happens. Fertilization in plants happen due to the process of pollination. Insects, winds or water carries the pollen from the anther of one flower to the stigma of the other flower. This process of transfer of pollen grains is known as pollination. Once the pollen grain is at the stigma, it absorbs moisture from its surface and develops a tube down the style towards the ovaries. This tube is known as the pollen tube. The tube continues to grow until it enters the ovules in the ovary. Let's look at what is there inside the ovary. The ovary contains an ovule and the ovule contains an embryo sac within it. The egg cell or the ovum is present in the embryo sac along with many other cells. The polar nucleus is also present at the center of the embryo sac. When the pollen grains reach the ovary, they release two male gametes. One of the male gametes fuse with the female gamete of the ovule and produce a zygote. This contains the embryo. The other male gamete fuses with the polar nucleus and produces the endosperm. The endosperm provides food for the growing embryo. This process of fusing of male cells with the female cell is known as fertilization. As we saw, fertilization happens twice inside the embryo sac. Therefore, this is known as double fertilization. Once fertilization is done, the ovule which contains the zygote develops into seeds. The covering of the ovule becomes the seed coat. At this point, the accessory whorls of the flower, sepal and petal fall off and the ovary grows into a fruit. Now we know how we get the yummy fruits we eat, right?